You have probably heard about Zeno's paradoxes. The one we will be taking into question is the arrow paradox. Imagine time were continuous. Then if an arrow is shot towards a target, it would first travel half the distance, then half of the remaining distance, and so on, never reaching the target. But physically, the arrow would definitely reach the target. Therefore, time must be discrete, made up of a series of instants. And at any instant in time, the arrow is in a definite position and appears motionless. This paradox can be compared to an actual physical phenomenon, the quantum Zeno effect. The same way as the arrow seems motionless when you measure its position at a certain point in time, also quantum objects seem to remain in the same state when they are measured a high number of times. It's the same as when you're staring at a kettle waiting for the water to boil. It seems as if it never does. According to quantum theory, an object can only be observed in distinct, separate states. Before an object's state is measured, its different possible states coexist, whereas after the measurement you observe only one state. It is the observation that determines one particular outcome between the various possibilities. The point is that when an atom starts its transition from one state to another, the act of measuring it projects it back to its initial state. Take a decaying atom for example and consider the two states in which it is not decayed and decayed. At a point in time A it is likely to not be decayed, while at time B it is more likely to be decayed. If you check on the atom for the first time at time B, it will probably have decayed. However, if you check on it a multiple number of times, each time after an interval of time A, until you reach time B, according to the quantum Zeno effect, the atom will most probably not have decayed. The quantum Zeno effect can dramatically reduce the chance of a system changing states, simply by measuring it many times in a short amount of time, even though the probability of transition can never be brought to exactly zero. Therefore, the probability of the atom decaying at time B tends to zero as the number of measurements tends to infinity. A fundamental aspect of quantum physics emerges from the quantum Zeno effect. In fact, in quantum physics the observer is brought to the center of the scene. No objective reality exists but a reality which materializes in the moment an observation is made. And thanks to the quantum Zeno effect, the clock can be stopped. It is almost possible to freeze this reality.